Jorge Gamebred, Masvidal, will be taking on Colby Chaos Covington. Uh, March 5th, UFC 272 at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. The story has everything. It is amongst the best stories in all of combat right now because it is a true personal grudge. I think this is personal. This is deep. This is an ultimate grudge. The two guys that are at the top of the food chain in terms of mixed martial arts, they've both got great styles. They've got excellent striking, good gas tanks. I'm telling you, this is an incredible fight. I think it's a great fight. I think I'm, I'm happy about the fight. I think it's going to draw eyes. It's, 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 it's a big deal, man. And you got to stop getting hung up in the, well, oh, this guy lost and this guy won, this guy lost. At times it just doesn't go like that. They should make this for the BMF belt because it is a pay-per-view and there's no belt on the line and it just makes it a little more spicy and a little bit more interesting. It makes it more fun. I don't like the he say, she say. We're going to find out the only way that there is and that's fighting, you know? So whatever they end up doing with the sissy fighting belt championships on that side, I don't know. But that bad motherfucker belt, that's going to be mine, man. They said the BMF, they meant the JMF, the journeyman fucking title. Kobe's that one person that, and I always say this, wherever I see him, it's a free pay-per-view right there, you know? And he knows that, that's why he used to make videos like, this guy's so unprofessional, he tried to fight me in the street, because I, I got kicked out of the gym for trying to assault him one time, and then I used to go to the spots that he used to freak on a lot, and got the police called on me, and things like that, you know? Now, the day he goes missing, you know where the police are gonna go. But it just showed his true colors, it showed the little thug that he is, he's a little criminal, he's broken the lies, a felon, and you know, I want to do something for law enforcement, all first responders around the world, I want to crush this dude, I want to beat this dude up so bad, he's not recognizable the next day. With Kobe, it's like, it's somebody that I really can't stand, so I, I really want to hurt this guy in, in a way that I've never done, you know, like, I, I want to make it seem like the Ben Askren fight was very merciful compared to what I'm going to do to Kobe. The exact same way that he caught uh, ben Askren is the exact same way that he could that he could set something up to catch Kobe, because Kobe's an unathletic human. He doesn't know how to box. He doesn't know how to kick. He knows how to wrestle. He knows how to grind. And at, at one point, these dudes were really good friends. But now, literally, like hating each other. And I know it's a genuine hate that they do have against each other. And this this fight this fight should be fireworks. Masvidal claimed that Colby ripped off one of his coaches. In November, Covington said that he wanted to end Masvidal's career. Covington also posted images on social media with Masvidal's ex-wife. Was You know, that's Miss Masvidal. That is, uh, she's legally married to Jorge Masvidal still. She has two of Jorge Masvidal's kids. You know, she's a great lady, so we just wanted to, you know, have a little blast from the past and, and talk a little bit about the future and, and everything that's going on and, and how Jorge is trying to bring her through the ringer and trying to ruin her and her kids' lives. So it's sad, man. Jorge Masvidal, I, I want to end that, dude. I want to break his face and, and I want to end him for just the piece of shit that he is. He has to talk about people's wives like how they know of a society have we gotten that's even acceptable. You're talking about people's wives for no reason? I'm gonna fucking end your ass. And then everybody's gonna have a nice little celebration. We're gonna celebrate this guy out of existence. Anytime two guys know each other, when they used to live with one another like they did, they know a lot of personal stuff about one another. And then that's when the rivalry or the hatred, for want of a better word, can get real thick. The start of it all is my coach, and this is all on my credit, right? Because Kobe and me are like wrestling, exchanging techniques. I'm showing him how to strike. He's showing me how to wrestle. He goes, man, I would love to work with your coach. So he works with my coach for about two months, and then my coach tells him, okay, going forward, like I have with Jorge, like I have at the time with Joel, with, with numerous athletes, it's a handshake, and he goes, I take 5% of what you make. So if you make 5% out of $100, 5% out of $100 million, that's what I charge. And Kobe said like the that he is, yeah, of course, for sure. Guess what? When uh, he actually had the chance to actually pay him back some real money when he fought Dos Anjos and he fought for that belt, guess what he did? I'm waiting. He stiffed him. Just like he goes around stiffing people, just like he got kicked out of top team and he's been kicked out of the gyms in Oregon and stuff. He stiffed my coach, and since that day on, I've been wanting to put my hands on him. My coach said, wait, we're going to get him in the ring. Don't do it for free. And I was like, you're right. We'll get him in the ring and embarrass him for life. The only reason I wanted to fight Street Judas Masvidal, it's a, it's a serious beef, you know? Like, I hate the guy. He hates me, and, and that's being nice about it. You know, we were best friends for eight years. You know, he's walking around like he's the king of the Miami. He, he You know, he's a piece of shit person. He cheated on his wife. He cheated on his kids. You know, he, he lies to his kids. He's just not a good person, so I want to expose him in front of the whole world. Our general chief and commander, Dan Lambert, um, 
have put kind of like a rule like if you don't have a bout agreement signed uh, I don't want nobody talking crap to nobody in the team you know and Kobe had said like numerous things to me already and I was just completely ignoring him like oh, whatever you know I just I'll see you when I see you right blah 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 and then uh, I had enough one day and I said something back and then I got us both kicked out I talked to Dan about it and then he was like you're right bro this guy's a piece of he's got to go I'm gonna bring you right back you know where you've always been and where you belong and let this coward sink elsewhere I mean, it's hilarious. Does anybody believe anything that guy says anymore? I mean, he was out on that interview saying that Dan kicked us out of ATT and this night. You want to hear the real truth about ATT and all the wrath that that what happened? First off, Georgia come to the gym every single day when I'm training in the pro class. You disrupt the, the gym and the pros. He'd be screaming across the gym. He wouldn't come to my face. If Ori Masvidal was a man, he would come straight up to my face and he'd be like, let's fight. You know, he wouldn't even, he would just swing. He would do it. But he's do, yelling across the gym because he's got coaches holding him back because he's scared. He won't come in my face and say something because he knows what I'll do to him if he comes in my face so he's screaming across the gym making a big commotion making a fit so of course Lambert had to step in because he's disrupting the pro training climb he's disrupting the whole gym so he had to step in he kicked us both out well guess what he invited us both back and that's where George is leaving out details because Dan came to me he said hey I, I want you back I made a mistake I didn't mean to kick you out you know the pandemic's you know coming to a close now and we want you back at American Top Team no I'm not going back Dan I appreciate the offer thanks but no thanks I've weeded out all the bad things all the negative energy in my life with American Top Team all the drama over there at that gym and I have my own gym that cares about me that that, that just cares about our growth and our development so that's why you're seeing Colby Covington 2.0 right now and I mean, the team that he's at right now is just a bunch of yes men. They're just telling him yes to whatever he says. You can tell by the attitudes and stuff. Look, I love the story. I've always said that. I love the story. And uh, if they finally get matched up, maybe an ultimate fighter season with Dean those two, with all the bad blood and the, the former friendship and everything else, man, I would watch. And I don't really watch the ultimate fighter anymore. I don't know if I watched the ultimate fighter when I coached it. So uh, I would definitely watch if uh, they did Masvidal versus Covington. Me being a coach and the ultimate fighter with Kobe was probably never going to happen because I, I was for sure going to end up in handcuffs. It, it just, it's not going to play out. You can't pay me enough money to hear this idiot and nah, it's not happening. You can't pay me enough money to have to deal six weeks with this idiot. I, I would have gone to jail for a fact. I would have loved to have seen him on the ultimate fighter, but that's, I, as long as they fight, I really don't give a hell. I really don't give a crap. The rebirth of Jorge Masvidal, shall we say, started with Darren Till, knocked him out in uh, London at the O2 Arena. Then it was Ben Askren, fastest knockout of the UFC. And then he put a beat down on Nate Diaz and stopped him at Madison Square Garden and got the BMF. I like his resurrection. I like the fact that he rebranded himself because you mm -hmm. have to do that. I see it in movies. I see actors do it, entertainment. You rebrand yourself, new package, and then boom. I think Masvidal's the better striker. Even though he just got knocked out by Usman, there's hatred for one another, uh, a high pressure situation, and he's coming off a knockout loss to Kamara Usman. So that might give Colby a little bit of an edge. Yeah, I think the favorite from watching just the clips, I think I think it's you know, just because of Colby's wrestling. But then again, if Masvidal's able to stop him, it is MMA. If he's able to stop some of those wrestling takedowns, I think Masvidal easily wins him. Going for George, I want George to win, even though we no longer talk to each other. I watch a couple videos of these guys going after in the in the in the living room from I don't know when they live together if they live together, and Kobe was just taking him down multiple times. The way I kind of picture that a little bit, Kobe has the advantage. Kobe has his number, I think. You know, it'd be great. You know, I, I hope he shows up. You know, I'd love to beat him up. You know, I, I'm trying to get paid. I know his ex-wife Maritza and the mother of his kids is trying to get paid he got a lot of alimony to pay I got you I got you he knows he knows uh one thing about me that if you don't take me out like how Usman took me out I'm just gonna keep coming I'm just gonna keep coming you could wrestle as much as you want but I'm gonna fucking help you in the face I'm gonna get back up I'm gonna punch you in the stomach I'm gonna punch you in the knee and you're gonna melt I don't know if it's gonna be the first round I don't know if it's gonna be the fourth round but you're gonna fucking melt I always have I'm gonna touch your body harder than I've ever had. And when I have you at that breaking point, I'm gonna smile, I'm gonna look you right in the fucking face, and I'm gonna tell you just how I did at the top of this thing, I got you.